Hello and welcome to Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 966M and 972M wheel loaders in 1 to 87 scale. The item numbers are 85948 for the 966M and 85949 for the 972M. Because these are both Highline Series models, they come in the collectible tins, and we will take a look at both of those first, as we always do. So, here is the 966M, picture of the model on the side, and a nice picture of the model at work up on top. For the 966M, here are your specification details, and a picture of it loading a dump truck. Here is the tin for the 72M, 972M. There are some differences with these wheel loaders. The basic mold or casting is almost identical, but they are different. And we will go over those differences here momentarily. Here is the top of the tin for the 972M. Again, a very nice picture of it. And the back, again, if you want to read the specification details, please feel free to do that now. Both of these inside, of course, have the model, as you would hope and expect, and a brochure or catalog with the lineup of Diecast Masters Caterpillar products. So the first one that we will take a look at is the 966M. Both of these wheel loaders are retooled models from a previous manufacturer that had a Caterpillar scale model license for a very, very short period of time. But, as you will see, these models are um, very, very, very different in a couple ways from their predecessors. So as you can see here, try and get both of them in the frame. As you can see here, this one is the original. This one is the reworked and improved Diecast Masters model. The original had a rehandling smooth bucket. It also had an antenna, no operator in the cab. The Diecast Masters version has a much more aggressive tooth rock bucket. It has a operator in the cab and the antenna has been removed. And the reason that the antenna has been removed is almost all of these antennas broke off. Um, they were not manufactured very well, and most often they would be either missing completely from the packaging, or when collectors received them, they would break off afterwards. So it was just decided that the antenna would go the way to the dodo bird and just disappear. So, also, the functionality of the original. Not particularly the best. It lifts, it dumps, it articulates across the pivot point like you would expect a wheel loader to do. Um, if you had it lying on a job site and just sitting, it looked okay. Bear in mind also, these were the K versions of these machines, so there are some subtle casting changes, but these were the K versions of the 966. The Diecast Masters are the M version of the 966, so this has been completely redone, as you can see. The top has been redone, so there are a lot of changes to where it's basically a completely different machine. So as these are first generation Highline series models, Bob, our friendly neighborhood operator, is permanently affixed in the cab. However, after you purchase this model, as I always like to say, these are assembled with Phillips screws, so you could disassemble them and remove Bob if that becomes a significant problem for you. Taking a look at the bucket, here you can see the teeth. There are modeled visibility perforations, but obviously they're in this small scale, you really would have a hard time doing that. So it's just a solid piece here for where the perforations would be. The range of articulation has been improved. 
so you can achieve a much more realistic steering representation. Also, you now can get and hold a carry angle, which, as I will demonstrate here, the 966K could not hold a carry angle. Also, your lift height has been improved with the help of some modifying of the cylinders done by diecast masters, and the dump angle has been moderately improved as well. So that is the 966M. We will transition now to the 972M. Now, the biggest significance here between the two is that the 972 obviously is a little bit bigger of a wheel loader, so it has a larger counterweight here than the 966. There you go. You can see that it's bigger. And also, if you look, the buckets are different. The spill guard protection up here is way different on the 972 than it is on the 966 because it's a bigger bucket it's a bigger wheel loader so it's nice to see that corners were not cut there by diecast masters that you know these two machines are different in the real world so they wanted them represented as such as two different wheel loaders and not just the same casting with different logos so i can very much appreciate that and it's nice to see for some of the smaller details, the hand and grab rails are thin, but they are plastic. The mirrors here are plastic as well. Again, the articulation is very good. The tread pattern on the tires is also excellent. Functionality again. Respectable for 187 scale, I think. And if you put these working on a model railroad, a lot of the real-life positions of wheel loaders can be replicated in this scale. So let's see for our last demonstration here how it would look on a low boy. We'll demonstrate that with the 972M. And as you can see, it makes a pretty respectable and, and good looking transport load, I think. So there you go, collectors. That is a review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 972M and 966M wheel loaders in HO or 1 to 87 scale. Very nice to see that uh, these models were retooled with new buckets, new rear ends, other subtle detail changes to really make these wheel loaders come alive and give them the accurate representation that they deserve. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any comments or concerns, please leave them down below. Until next time, take care, be safe. We'll see you in the next video.